I want you guys to understand something, okay? What I've recently discovered about bringing awareness to narcissism. Now, when the average person probably listens to a man like me, they're probably thinking, well, this sounds like a guy that's hurt because he broke up with his girlfriend, or, you know, and now he's just hurt. But no, I'm telling you, it's much bigger than that, especially the. And this is a special, especially to the SMD family. There is a psychological side to all of this that I did not know until this recent discovery from my personal experience, right? Because I want you guys to understand something. I'm not a weak guy. I'm not a never been a pushover, never, never was bullied or nothing like that. Uh, and I got trapped into this, into loving and caring for a physically and mentally, a ver verbally cheater in love with a person like that. That means something's wrong with me. Okay, you guys got to understand something. I'm I'm still think about it. And if you're in a relationship with a person like this, okay? If you're in a if you're in a re, if you are in a relationship with a person who is physically abusive to your body, that means something's wrong with you. Why would you have sex with a person that's physically abusing the very body that you're sharing them with. That doesn't make any sense. I was doing that. Now, don't get me wrong. In the middle of it, I thought about that a few times. I'm like, maybe I should stop having sex with her. I thought about it, but when it's in your face all the time, that's very difficult. I had to break away and stop that. I'm just telling you this after the fact. When you get out, that's exactly right. That's exactly what I should have did. This is how deep it is. And this really, listen, the reason why I'm going to be spreading this, this this narcissism awareness, it doesn't really have nothing just to do with me and men. It's men and women are trapped in stuff like this, trapped in relationship like that. Still in love with a somebody that's cheating on you. It doesn't even make, that means something's wrong with you, with me. Something wrong with, something was wrong with me. Now, if a person like me, and I'm not saying that I'm the special above it, but I'm a strong person. I'm a strong minded person. If I can get caught up in some nonsense like that, the average person is probably really in trouble. But that's why I'm here. That's why I'm going to be spreading this type of awareness because it can happen to anybody. All you got to do, listen, I'm a, I'm going to give you guys that may be a trap inside a, a relationship with a narcissist. Just do they ever take accountability for anything? That's a red flag right there. Red flag. Even if they cause it. Okay. Here's another one. If you don't cheat on at all on your partner, but they're always accusing you of cheating. That's a confession. Okay, that's not a that's not an accusation. That's a confession, because if you're not doing it, where are they getting that information from? That's a confession. They do it all the time. Narcissists don't know that they do that. This is what I mean. I can now see them. They can't see me. That's the psychological side. Of SMD family. There's a positive and negative. I just happen to be on the negative side of the psychological because I was trapped under this stuff. Stuff that doesn't make any sense. And just like debt slaves, narcissists are the majority. They're the majority. Believe that. Especially with all the apps and the hidden stuff you can hide. That's all their world. That's, they Listen, narcissists, they don't know that that is their world. Just like debt slaves. It's the same thing. They think everybody cheats. Uh, everybody, you know, fucks around on people behind their back, lies. That's a perspective. Okay, that is a perspective of the world that I'm no longer part of because now it's easy to see people like that. It's really, it's really not that hard to see. Just listen for, first of all, listen, this, these are the steps and this, this is for the women so they understand where I'm at. Okay. For the steps for a woman to even reach me, she has to, number one, be debt free. That's going to eliminate like 99% of women right there. If you're making car payments, I'm not even talking to you. You got student loan debt, not even talking to you. Now you got to get to the psychological side. Now I got to see 
if you're if you're psychologically on the positive side or the negative side, you know what the first question I'm going to ask? How's your relationship with your parents? If the woman I'm seeing doesn't speak highly about her mom like I do, we're not going anywhere. That's where it stops because she obviously doesn't know the type of love that I have to offer that I got from my mother. That's where I'm going. We're not even getting past that point. If you're, if, if I hear, if I hear a woman disrespecting her mom, disrespecting her dad, disrespecting her siblings, I'm not shit. Okay, that tells me everything I need to know. Nope, we're not dating. Why not? I see how you talk about your family. We're not even family. We're just having sex. We're boyfriend and girlfriend, and you're actually blood related to them, and you speak about them like that. No. No, thank you. I'm not going there. Sorry. Those are red flags, people. I hope you, if you're, are you in a relationship with a person that talks negatively about their family? You need to get out of there fast ASAP. I don't care what excuse. Here, here's another one. When all the, when it, when you hear about the breakup and it was always the ex's fault, they always fooled around. They did all the bad stuff. That's a red flag. Those are red flags. All of them. That when they're when they start telling you stories that don't make sense, those are all red flags. Just pay attention to them. Like, hey, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, you got to make it make sense. If you can't make it make sense, we're not going anywhere. That's the new me, though. But I had to learn this. I didn't know about narcissist people. I didn't know there were people that do things like that to other people. Now I know. Now I know. Uh, society and and YouTube and all this, they will make you think that everybody, like I said earlier, everybody fucks around and cheats on people. That's a perspective of the world that you don't have to be part of. I'm no longer part of that world because I, I choose not to. That's it. It's not, listen, it's not hard to stay out of that world. All you got to do is just listen to the people talk. Listen to how the people speak that are part of that world that think they're hiding part of that world. It's, listen, it's clear as day now. I could see what, you know, all the things that didn't make sense, they all make sense. Now it's like, oh, okay. That's just part of that world. That's why they stay on the same level. Like you got to, this is what I want you guys to look at. When you, when you have people that cheat on other people and they know they're cheating, that's why they're attracted to each other because they're on the same frequency. That's why they think cheating's okay. That's they're on the same. That's why they're attracted to each other. A cheating a cheating woman wouldn't be attracted to me because I wouldn't have it. I get with a woman. Hey, they, hey, you with somebody? No, you're not. Okay, you're telling me the truth, right? All right, cool. One indication that you're lying out. Totally out. I'm not even, no excuses, nothing. I'm not even, I'm going to go. See ya. I'm not explaining anything. Trying, any kind of triangulation at all. No, mm -mm. see ya. Bye-bye. Those are things that I can see now. And I want to help share with man or woman that you can easily identify. You got to remember, here's, here's the main thing, okay, on narcissists. No self-reflection. That's a dead giveaway. They cannot do it. They can't. Okay? That's a dead giveaway. So if you're with somebody that never has never does self-reflection, you're probably you probably a person with NPD. Just like I am raw with death slaves, that's how I'm I'm gonna be raw with narcissists now. Okay, I don't care how you feel about what I say, narcissist. I could care less how a narcissist feels about what I say. So what? So? Especially when I identify them too? Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. No. I don't care what they look like. I don't care what job they have. I don't care what title they have. Mm -mm. I share these videos so you can see how I am today. And then you can see how I am a year from now. So if I'm talking like this right now and I'm only three, four months into it. What do you think I'm going to be talking like in a year from now? This knowledge right here, I had to earn. 
I you have to earn this type of knowledge. This is this knowledge is not a you you just don't get it for free. You got to earn it. Like I said, the average person is going to come on here and think, oh, he's just a hurt boyfriend. Talk. No, uh-uh. no, it's much big. Hey, listen, it's much bigger than that. Much bigger than that. Narcissists are everywhere. They're your mama, daddy, uncle, aunt, brother, sister. They're everywhere. And they don't care about nothing. That's their, and listen, that's okay because that's their problem. That's not my problem anymore. If they don't care about nothing, that's absolutely not my problem. And when you run into them at work, uh, maybe it's a relative. Maybe it's your boyfriend. Maybe it's your girlfriend. Maybe it's your, your adult son, adult daughter. Who knows? Maybe it's one of them. They could, a narcissist can be anybody. You just have to identify identify them and easily do they take self accountability for anything then they're probably one okay and then you got to treat them accordingly boundaries immediate boundaries for no for people with no self accountabilities boundaries doesn't matter what doesn't matter what kind of you get to choose what kind of boundary you want and just make sure you sit on it because they're going to test it Okay, they're going to test it with everything. They're going to test your boundaries just to see if you're BSing. And you got to stand on it because they're going to try everything. Everything, everything they tried before. But what they're not going to know, you're on a different frequency now. You're just looking at them. You're like, why are you doing that? No self-accountability. Dead giveaway. It can... It, you can hear right through all the boohooing and the, and the and the crazy emails. You can just read right through them. Do I see any self accountability? Nope. Then it's bullshit. Narcissists. Let me tell you, that's their kryptonite. Narcissists cannot do it. They can't. They can, they cannot tell the truth, and they have no self accountability at all. They can't do it. Dead giveaway. And when they start, listen, this is what I want you to do. When you when you try to get them to tell the truth and they start getting loud and screaming and talking stupid, you just stand there. No expression. You just wait till they're done. Because they're going to go on and on because they're looking for you to react. Just wait till they're done. Say, are you done yet? Okay, are you going to take accountability of what you just did? I don't know why you're doing all that other stuff. It's not going to change the outcome and we're not going any further until you do. Are you going to take self accountability? No, they were over. That's how easy it, that's that's what you do. But it won't even get that far because you'll be able to identify a narcissist well be, well before a relationship happens of any kind, even friendship. Cuz they listen, they all got problems. <laughs> they all got problems. Uh, and a whole bunch of them. And they're all caused by everybody else. Once you understand, once you understand this knowledge, they cannot see you. Just like death slaves. Death slaves can't see me. Death slaves can't see the SMD family. They can't even see us. Unless they go out, SMD family goes out, pulls down your mask, then they're going to identify you. I don't do that in public. But I don't even have to worry about this on the psychological side because if you're not even debt free, hey, listen, don't even, don't even worry about coming back to this channel. Because you'll never know about the psychological side of, oh no, not at all. Because you, ha I had to earn this. This wasn't free. It wasn't free to get to where I'm at today. It was not free. I had to earn every single bit of it. Physically and mentally. So when you guys... When you guys see me talk about, uh, talk about my life on these videos, I want you guys to understand something. It's... These videos are not only for you, they're for me too, because I get to document my progression easier. I can see where I'm at before, and I can see where I'm at a year later. I can just say, oh, wow, I'm, I've totally changed. But you guys get to come along for the ride, because I, I don't care. When you get to this level, you don't care about what other people that are not on this, excuse me, not level perspective. When you get on this perspective, you don't care about people that are not on this perspective, their opinions. It doesn't matter. If they're making car payments, who cares what they think? 
Who cares the opinions of people who are late on their credit card payments? Who cares? It doesn't matter. That's how I feel today. That's why I easily share this information. I'll tell you where this channel is going to be going. The Sixth Sense channel. This was the piece. This was the missing piece. This right here. What I'm going through right now. This was the missing piece. <clears throat> I got to experience something that I never knew existed. Never knew existed. Humble. It's such a humbling feeling. Totally humbly, Finley. Totally. Now I understand. I get it. You know, it's so easy to see, you know, like these TV reality shows, you see people in bad relationships. Everybody's like, hey, why don't you just leave them and this and that? If it was that easy, everybody would be doing it. It would just leave. So now you're stuck. Why are they staying with them? Because there's a psychological piece. I've experienced it personally. I have, listen, <clears throat> I have no idea why I stayed with a person who was physically abusive to me. I have no idea. Why did I stay? I don't know. I was still sharing my body with the same person physically abusing my body. Does that make sense? Doesn't make any sense at all. Millions, you, you know, millions of people are listening to me say that and they're doing it. You guys are doing it right now. You are sharing your body with a person who is physically abusive, verbally abuses you, cheats on you, and you're still sharing your body with your... Now, you got to go a little deeper. This is how deep I want you guys to go, okay? So you guys can understand the disrespect. The person you're with that's cheating on you knows there's a disease out there called AIDS that can you can bring back in and bring back to your partner. Isn't that mess? That is... And what if you got kids and family that love you? They don't care. That's how you should go when a person does that to you. As soon as you find out, that's how deep you need to go. Because that's how real it is. Now, doesn't that sound disgusting? Probably changes your mind now. Again, that's a perspective of the world. Where I live, I don't do stuff like that to the people I love. I don't do that. Because I think about that. I didn't do any of that. Because that's how I thought. That's the, that's the, that's the perspective of the world where I live. Now, if I have that in my heart, in my mind, there's a woman out there that thinks exactly the way I think. That's how it is. I'm not the only one. Of course not. Now that I understand sex doesn't rule me, it doesn't control me. I'm not just because I'm single. I'm not instantly going, no, I got some learning to do some mentally mental growth to be doing. I have to learn. Why did I stay so long into something like that? That makes no sense. I got to figure that out. What happened? Why did, why did I not leave the first time she put her hands on me? How come I stayed? I got to figure that out. I'm not ready for nobody if I don't know that answer. I knew before the first year. I knew the first year. Why did I stay? I don't, I don't know. That's what I got to figure out. I mean... I'm figuring it out now. I know now. I'm just saying after the fact, enduring, right? I'm after the fact now. But now I understand the whole purpose of it. To gain this type of knowledge that the majority do not have. Just like dead slaves. Just like the, the physical side, the psychological side, the money side. You guys know I've already proven that fact. That is a fact. Capitalism is psychological. That is a fact. People in debt are dead slaves. No currency exists for them. Houses, they can't buy nothing. That's a fact. Do they know that? No, they don't know that. People with mortgages think they're homeowners. That's the same thing on the psychological side. Narcissists don't know they're narcissists because they don't have no self-reflection. 
And in order to, for them to know that they're narcissists takes self-reflection, which they do not have. So that they don't know that I can now see them. They all say the same things. They all have, they all have a trait patterns. They all have patterns. They do the same thing. They say the same things because that is their perspective of the world, which they think is the whole world, which it is not. It is not the whole world at all. It's not my world. It never was. I just happened to mix with the wrong world. Now I identified it. Now I'm out of it. I don't believe everything on YouTube and channels and everybody's this and that and it, that. Do a, the majority of people do that? Yeah, they do that. Thinking it's normal, whatever. It doesn't matter what they think. The woman I'm gonna, the woman I'm gonna be with, she's gonna know that she, I'm not gonna be doing anything with anybody else. She's she's gonna have that security because I'm a show and teller. Just like, how do I know that? Because that's what I did in this past relationship. I did that. I made sure she knew because that's what I was. That's what I did. That's what I expect in return, but I didn't get it back. Why? That's what I had to figure out because I didn't set up boundaries. <clears throat> you got to make, sooner somebody does something, you're like, whoa, okay. Hey, listen, I, yeah, I don't do that. Doesn't matter where the relationship is. You set a boundary. You set a boundary and see if they respect it. All you got to do is to see if the narcissists don't. Re, that's another giveaway. They don't respect boundaries. Set a boundary and see if they respect it. Not at all. The only way mine's res, mine was respected, I had to leave her. And mean it. She didn't believe it at first. I had to set a boundary and I had to stand on it. She believed it after a while. Not disrespectful. I wasn't disrespectful at all. Didn't say anything mean. I was just no contact. Email only. That's it. That's when I got the respect. Because I had to respect myself first. This is this is an example of what's going to be on the Sixth Sense channel. I strongly suggest you join it. Its debut is going to be on January 1st, 2024. If you want a preview, you can join uh, the members only group and you can see what I'm going to be talking about. See you later.